Internet. Should Bill Biden be Obama's running mate in the next election? If not, who would you like to see on the ticket? Oh, this comes up every... Joe Biden? Jo I think they mean Joe. They Joe Biden. Should, what you I said say? Bill I Biden. I said Bill Biden. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Joe Biden, yes. I mean, uh, this always, I don't know why this is always a, a interest to people, but I, I, I mean, they said the same thing when Cheney was the vice president. Is he going to be on the ticket again? Um, usually it's the same guy, but I don't know. Who else would it be? I don't think they've changed vice presidents since, like, Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he changed, like, I mean, I mean, FDR had a few different ones, but he was... Oh, yeah, there FDR for a had long, a different vice president. Well, but he was there forever. I mean, they were just probably dying on him. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it you know... It seemed like a fine it's, pair. It's, I'd love to yeah. see Hillary Clinton get in, just because it would blow the minds of right-wingers from coast to coast. Mm -hmm. And it could happen. a good vice president. That, and, and it would be a set her up better to run in the next election, and it's an easier job. I mean, she must be exhausted. The Secretary of State job is very difficult. And uh, that Did could... Did she say that, she wants to go on to, uh, the, to the next term uh, as Secretary of State? No, she's, no, no, she's, she's, she's done. She's done soon. And, and she'd pretty much kill herself before she'd be Right, leaving. yeah, it's yeah. very... That, doesn't, oh, yeah. that yeah. doesn't stop us from speculating. But, and that could have been the deal they made when she took the job to begin with. You don't know what goes Why on. Why would she kill herself? She'd be it's, which I, I mean, I'm it's just she said she didn't want to be VP. She <laughs> given the Sherman-esque denial. She yeah, said 18 yeah, different ways that don't stop said. guys like me yeah, right. speculating about it on our blogs. <laughs> um, what would you like? Would you like to interview Sarah pa Palin on real time or have her on the panel? Well, of course, but I can't subpoena people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What do you make of the so-called slut walks taking place around the world? Oh, do you know what slut walks are? They're, they're a protest uh, against uh, people who think that when women dress... Provocatively? Uh, provocatively, that they're asking for it. And this has created an outrage. It started in Toronto, but I think there's like 75 of them around the, the country now where, where women dress scantily clad <laughs> to protest being judged for dressing scantily cladly. Well, I think... I'm in, I'm in favor of them. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I, with I, the I, I get Planned Parenthood on the yeah. chopping block, we probably have better use of our time, uh, our feminist time, than... Uh, right. Tra 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 right. Well, I mean, there, there the can, you can think of more things than, than one. It's not a one-issue thing. But I right. would say in that case, the, is a police officer said to stop a couple of women, women stop dressing get, provocatively. You won't get raped. You won't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. So it's, what excuse does he use to children who are sexually assaulted? I mean, what, that, that's such a ridiculous thing to say that I, I just wish it wasn't called slut walk. I just, that kind of talk, whether the emails, whether it's on MTV, that for some, the, the, that, 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 that drives me nuts because it actually takes away from the issue mm -hmm. to even call it that, diverts. Well, but on the other hand, just calling it slut walk draws it to your attention. And you, you know, if they just call it like, R women rock or something like that, you probably wouldn't pay attention. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a performance. It's the male on the it's panel, a... could I point out one weakness? You know, if, if you have a bunch of <laughs> sluts walking down the street calling themselves sluts, and, and they're holding up signs and they're, they're trying to take back the term, you know, I, th I think the message that a lot of guys might get is, oh, hey, look, there's a bunch of sluts in a parade. <laughs> and it's not going to be... And it's not going to be, They're gee, gonna you know, I, I ought to think points. more about women's <laughs> yes. empowerment. Yeah. Not, not that it isn't a perfectly valid mm -hmm. message to have, just maybe there's a more effective way to reach men. <laughs> there's not, but good try. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's the most effective way to reach men, I promise you. Uh, okay. What would the actual implications be if we remove the tax-free status for churches and religious institutions? Ah, well, a lot of money into the federal coffers, I would guess, first of all, you know, I mean, that's a, that's a big business there, mm -hmm. churches, and, you know, they're selling an invisible product. I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a fantastic, <laughs> it's a fantastic yeah, yeah. business. I mean, you know. Let me, <laughs> let me predict the Republican. It would be, you're trying to balance the budget on Jesus' back, and that's anti-American <laughs> or something. It wouldn't, it wouldn't go over well with Republicans. That's right, because Jesus was a loyal American. <laughs> we all know that. Uh, is it unpatriotic for large American companies to lobby for a tax holiday that will allow them to repatriate money they've earned overseas? Yeah. Big corporations, in my view, are very unpatriotic. They don't, and, and you know, some of these companies that are supposedly the ones that are, 
you know, we all get down on the oil company. You know, they're the bad guys. But, you know, Google, which has this reputation as this hippie company, that they're bullshit, too. I th I th I've read that they could make, if they, had, if they made their product here in America to China, I think they'd still make 50% profit. I mean, which is what you make when you sell cocaine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still a very good profit. Yeah, if, if we, we got corporations to actually pay the, their taxes in America, we wouldn't probably have to talk about lowering the tax rate on the richest Americans. Right. Yeah. I know. That's a big Republican talking point, is that we have the highest corporate tax rate in the world. Yeah, we have the highest rate. We have the lowest, I think, among the 30 biggest industrialized nations of what they pay, mm -hmm. of what they actually pay. And Palenti wants to lower it. But it employs right. a lot of lawyers, so on the other hand, yeah. you balance and it out of the employment That's always figures. good. All right, we got to go. Thank you, folks. We'll see you next week. Appreciate you coming by.